That's like my number one rule of life, to just never give up on it. That which gives you meaning, purpose, and love. There's nothing I can do to take away the diagnosis. This is not necessarily the kind of tumor that you can cure. The videos on TikTok are about love. It was like an immediate connection, and it still is. When I talk to him, I feel exactly the same as I did the night we met. Loss. Some people never know love. And for me, the closest thing to God was my oh, cry, was my mother's love. And everything between. But as you get older, you realize that, you know, life is really, really short. And it's just easier to smile with somebody. People on TikTok unexpectedly sharing their deepest, most personal stories with someone they've never even met. I remember always, I don't know why I'm telling you this, you're a total stranger. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. The fact that these strangers can open up to me without ever knowing me, I think that's what floors me. 27-year-old Hunter Prosper of Pittsburgh is the stranger behind the camera. He's also an ICU nurse and says in 2020, he started losing his way amid the daily tragedy of the pandemic. I felt like I was so burnt out that I was losing um, passion for life. But he says he found healing in, of all places, TikTok. Tell me how you go from nurse to TikTok creator. The camera in itself and being able to talk into it, it just felt like I was giving myself therapy. So the first videos I ever made were me just talking about patient stories. And being able to talk about this, it like breathed new life into who I thought I was. Renewed, he began turning the camera around, striking up conversations with random people on the street. List off some of the questions that you ask people. So I think a lot of my popular ones are, uh, who was your first love and why did you fall in love with them? I was dying for that. I was too shocked. If you don't mind me asking what happened after those four years? I'm What's the most pain you felt that wasn't physical? My mom, she passed away in a nursing facility and there wasn't anything I could do about it. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? I've been using that one a lot lately. I see a girl who's trying. He says you'd be surprised at how willing people are to reveal their innermost feelings. One of my favorite moments is being able to ask a question and seeing it in the stranger's eyes that this is about to be therapy for them. And you can actually see someone react that way, you just can, on their I mean, face. You can almost feel it. It's palpable. The conversations can last up to an hour. I have a video where it started off and it was bright out. And by the end of it, it was like dark out. But Hunter edits them down into short videos that have gotten hundreds of millions of views. What do you hope that people take away from your videos? I hope they take away that everyone has a beautiful story, a beautiful book um, that they can call their life. So I really hope that these videos are able to make people stop and, uh, and really appreciate the people around them. All right, Hunter, who was your first love and why did you fall in love with them? <laughs> Vanna, you were catching, you were throwing me off with this. <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> my first love is without a doubt my mom. Everything I am is because of her and everything I do is because of her. See, that's the kind of answer on the street if I asked somebody that and that's what they said, I'd be like, dang, <laughs> that was a good answer. I see you. Wow, what a story. <laughs> right, coming right away with his mom. Yeah. And I asked Hunter what's next. Well, he said he might try to go long form with the videos on YouTube or even weave the stories into a book. Wouldn't that be so cool? But the bottom line, he said there's about 8 billion people in the world, so he's still got a lot of questions to ask. That's his goal. Sometimes people will appreciate having someone who genuinely seems like they want to listen. Like when they say, how are you? Or talk to me. And they say, you know what? In this moment, I'm going to tell you the truth. Because everyone does have something yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And that they'll go on for hours sometimes. Right. It's just yeah. amazing. Oh, you've right. never been with Craig. Okay. <laughs> Savannah, thanks so much. Thank you, Savannah. Sure. Thank you, Savannah. Good. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.